hey guys thanks for tuning into simtech channel now this is going to be a very quick uh, problem solving so this is basically problem 27 on the book on introductory to circuit analysis so this is for those who are starting circuit analysis so these are 11 editions of the book where you'll find this problem now in this problem they're basically asking us to find the power that is delivered to the 10 ohm load so this one is our 10 ohm load so you need to find the power that's delivered here now the this is quite a simple uh, uh, circuit right but the way they laid out if you really not careful enough you'll be intimidated and start getting wrong equivalent resistances and basically get a wrong answer so you have to know how to read your your nodes so your re your resistance nodes here we can see that this is our ground node so basically the the current is flowing down this path okay so if we take the conventional current flow now when you look at this circuit what's the first thing that comes to mind you can see obviously we can see the 2 ohm and the 10 ohm they are in series okay they are in series so that is quite easy to to reduce to an equivalent resistance but it seems to be very complicated here but if you look at it in a node perspective you can see that this point and this point and this point here and this point is basically the same point so it's just one point so they just make it look strange so that's where you start by changing that so i'm going to go ahead and just redraw this circuit to make it more easily readable so i'll draw my seven ohm resistor first right and then i draw my two ohm then i draw my other two ohm okay then i come down here i'll draw my 10 ohm resistor there then i leave it like that now i come at this point here so this is basically this point now and i've got what a four ohm resistor there so i will draw the four ohm now i'm realizing that since this node and this node are the same and there is a point here so that basically puts 12 ohm and 12 ohm to be what in parallel so to draw a clear parallel uh, resistance i will just draw them like this so that make it much clear for me to know that these 12 ohm and these 12 ohm they are in parallel because now this node i know that this node is the same node and it is exactly the same node that is coming from the supply here like that okay it's the same node and it is the same node that's going to this 10 ohm so i can then connect it like that now there is something still missing my ground must be there and my 24 ohm resistor is missing now we can see that the 24 ohm resistor is connecting at this point here and it is going all the way down to this same node so i will not put it here to complicate things because that's how they did that to try to confuse us so i'm just going to draw it all the way down here okay now you can see that i've got these two in parallel and in series with that so it's making life to start begin to look easy for me so let me now put the values so that's four ohm that's seven ohm 2 ohm 2 ohm and we've got a 24 here and we have a 10 so now let's start combining shall we so the t the 12 ohm in parallel already we can see that it's they are both equal resistance so it's just half so quickly we can see that this two will give us 6 ohm and in series with the 4 ohm so that what 10 ohm so i'm going to now reduce this circuit again to make it again simpler so let me just redraw it again bear with me and then this now here we know that it's equivalent to 10 ohm so i'm going to draw my 10 ohm there is my 10 ohm let me just fill it up already there and then this one is a 7 right then i have this node here so that's a 24 ohm so let me just place a resistor it's a 24 ohm so i can see that these two here are now in series as we already earlier said so which means it's a 12 ohm so i'm going to now draw my 12 ohm like that so that's a 12 ohm 
and you can see now this is one node right so it is one node and it is also one node with this combination so just like that and we can place our voltage source there then we've got our ground there now you can see this is now a piece of cake one will say so we move forward we can see that this uh, 24 ohm and the 12 ohm they can basically combine together a parallel combination and add them in series with the 2 ohm so if you take the 24 you do it parallel with the 12 ohm so basically you will have 24 times 12 okay over 24 plus 12 and then in series with a 2 ohm so this whole thing will give you what a 10 ohm so you're going to have a 10 ohm so that basically means all this section is equal to 10 ohm so what are we seeing so we're seeing that this 10 ohm is now going to be in parallel with this 10 ohm what does it tell you which means the equivalent resistance for all this section is going to be a 5 ohm because you have this you have this section giving you a 10 ohm and this one give you is already a 10 ohm so 10 ohm 10 ohm in parallel is 5 ohm so you you then going to redraw your circuit like this okay so this is now your 5 ohm so that's your 7 ohm and this is your voltage source just like that and that's your ground so we move from here to here to here to there so obviously the equivalent resistance is just a single 12 ohm like that so not very difficult but you just have to know how to read your notes now what you're going to do next here you need to find the total uh, um, the total current that the circuit is being is delivering so that total current is basically so if you know your ohm law so V is equal to IR so which mean I is equal to uh, V over R so R here is R total so V is your source which is 24 so your current is going to be 24 right divided by what 10 ohm uh, what's the total resistance that's 12 ohm you can see that we're getting what 2 ohm I mean 2 amps so we're getting 2 amps of current now we can start to see now things are starting to look uh, better here so we know now that there is a 2 amp here right there is a 2 amp so if we know there is a 2 amp there that means there is also a 2 amp here okay because that's serine so if there is a 2 amp at this node here now let me come to this one because this one is still gonna make things confusing so let's come here so we have 2 amps here if there is two amps there and we know that we know that this network here is actually giving us 10 ohm right and this network here is also giving us 10 ohm because we calculated it that's how we got uh, the 5 ohm because this entire network here was giving us 10 ohm and this entire network was also giving us 10 ohm so what does it mean in terms of current you have uh, equal resistance in parallel so they're going to share the current equally so that means from the 2 amp 1 amp is gonna go here 1 amp goes there and another 1 amp goes here that's as simple as that so now your problem is simple so you know that so you know that there is a 1 amp here right there is a 1 amp there and there is also a 1 amp there because there is a 2 amps coming here like that so you can clearly see that the same 1 amp is now going to show up there so what's the story here the story here is the story here is very simple in order to find the current in this branch here because you know that this 12 ohm is as a result of 2 ohm plus 10 ohm okay and they are in series so which means there is the same current that is flowing there it's the same current so this current and this current is the same 
And if you fund this current, you're going to fund the power that is uh, being drawn by your load. Now you need to do the current divider rule here because you know you have a, a 1 amp that's somewhere here at this point here. And that means some current is going here and some current is going down this way. Okay. It states that to find the current in this branch here, okay, you have to take the resistance of this branch. You divide it by the total resistance, that means of this branch and this branch, and then you times the current that is entering the node. So, which means, what it means in application is that my I for this node here that I want to find now is equal to this resistance of the other branch. Okay, so that's a 24 divided by this resistance plus the resistance of the node that I'm looking for. The current so that's 24 plus 12 and then you need to multiply the whole thing with the current that is entering that they are dividing so that is your your one amp so what this gives so this give you 0 comma six six seven amp so that's a current flowing into this branch now that you know the current that's going into this branch now it's much easier to find the power that is uh, being drawn or that's delivered into that branch. So you can basically do uh, the formula for the power into the component. So that will be your I square times R. Okay. So what is your R? So it's 0, 0,667 square times your resistance, which is uh not 12 ohm it's actually the 10 ohm because remember there is a 2 ohm and a 10 ohm so it's the same current that's flowing so this is your 10 ohm and how much you're going to get here and it gave me about 4,44 watt and that is the correct answer so this is how you solve this type of problem very simple but you must just know how to uh, read your your notes and it's as simple as that now this one here 28 is actually much simpler because you can just see that the power supply here actually have all these components in parallel so you will just have to first get these two are in series once you get r5 and r6 in series then they will be in parallel with the 4, the combination, and then in series with R3, and in parallel with R2, and then you carry on like that, you're going to have a parallel resistance in, in, in parallel with the load. You do the same thing on this section, and this section you end up having a couple of resistance in parallel, and then you reduce them. So these are just, they can give you network that looks very funny and confusing, but just work with nodes and you should be good to go. So thanks for watching. If you've uh, learned something from this tutorial, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to SimTech channel. Until next time, cheers.